Hey, hello there and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. We're here every Tuesday, of course, at 8 o'clock. Uh, my name's Sean, by the way. I'm joined by the fabulous Glenn. Hello, mate. How are you? Evening. You all right? Two right. weeks on the trot. I know. Three, three weeks on the trot. That's been good, isn't it? It has been three weeks, yeah. Do you back, back to by popular demand, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get back in the office booking some cruises oh, I do, I mate. I do, yeah. But, um, Glenn's with us. Glenn works Planet Cruise, of course. Uh, he'll be taking your bookings uh, tomorrow. But Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. But the it? team are in there, obviously, tonight as Ten well. Ten o'clock tonight. They're going to be in tonight. So they're going to be there tonight. Um, Glenn, what a lineup we've got. We've got some different ones tonight, haven't we? We're going, we're going down to South Africa. We've got a train ride down in South Africa. And that's we've with got, Fred Olsen, isn't we've it? We've got Fred Olsen. We've got Oceania. Lou's going to be with us from Oceania, so that's great. Yeah, Lou, Lou nice. has got us the most incredible cruise, actually, hasn't she? She has. Fantastic. Really, really good value. And that, that always does well. And we've got a couple of other little cheeky ones to keep people going. Another Morella. We've got a P&O. Yeah, so nice we'll River people, Cruise we've as got well. We've got a River Cruise as well, which is fun when I'm going to try and pronounce all the names. <laughs> yeah. That'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before we get into it, we have got a few hellos. You've got one, haven't you? I have. I want to say hello to Mark, who's a brilliant carpenter working in Rutland, and he's the biggest fan of the show, honestly. Oh, is he? Yeah, loves the show. So he's not Mark done work on your it. new place then yet? Hey. On well, uh, Ryan Towers? No, no, well, he's working in that area, yeah. Oh, is he? He's, he's a really good carpenter, but he's a, he loves the show, particularly when you're on. Oh, great. Yeah, Fantastic. So Mark, okay. um, brilliant I carpenter. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, Brenda Brightman. Uh, she booked a Morella cruise with me uh, last week. And also Catherine Jackson. Um, she's going with her friends on a Fred Olsen. So I said I'd give both of them as a little call out. Only two tonight. Which good. Is nice. But that's because I'm back every week now, so I haven't got as many. Does that mean we can crack on, then? We can crack on, mate. Let's get on with it. Well, we're going to start with a, a brilliant cruise from P&O uh, on board the Oceana and I know I need glasses nowadays but look at the price this starts at <laughs> looking again 645 so it's amazing value amazing value and P&O is always so popular we feature P&O a, a lot on our cruise it's probably the most popular cruise line in the in the UK people love it Oceana is a, a classic ship not one of the big ones so it holds about 2,000 people about mid-size about mid really well nice. actually it's probably a smaller ship now in comparison actually, right, to some yeah. of the big boys but this is a great one nice bit of the Mediterranean and throughout the year we've got this as well which is nice yeah looking at the dates we've got from April of yep. this year right the way through to October 2021. Exactly, yeah, so we're covering all dates. We no said, excuse on this one. Uh, now, Pino, obviously wonderful standards, but a very much a British feel, isn't it? They are, yeah, exactly. So as I said, um, every, you know, most of the clientele on are Brits. The good thing about this one, they've included all the tips now, so all tips are included. Yes, yeah, worry about that. And again, that. it caters for the British market. So again, um, Silly things like kettles in the rooms, you know, that's what the Brits want. Um, and again, the, the entertainment is geared towards the Brits on board. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's British music, British musicals. And what's nice comedians. about it, they'll have, they'll have uh, two shows in the evening, with obviously the show's repeated. And then once you come out there, you can go and sit into one of the venues, watch music, have a dance, and then obviously go to bed and wake up in a port or call the next day. But as I say, very popular. The cuisine, even though it's a British ship, is, of course, British um, chefs on board. But again, again, they cater for all different types of cuisine. They have a lot of um, Italian and Indian, Far East as well. But again, as I said, popular, really, really good. And as I said, if you haven't done one of these cruises before, it's not just Oceana. Again, they've got all their different ships. They've got the new Iona coming out as well, which is launching in a couple of months' time, which we feature a lot on the show. But again, P&O is very, very popular. Of course, kids' clubs are excellent on there. They look after the little ones for you if you want to go off and do something on board the ship. And as I said, you certainly won't be disappointed. Oh. Uh, fabulous. I've cruised with Pino myself. Uh, I had a great, great time. Uh, and this is a really nice season when we're going to fly you from the UK. Yeah. And so we should say, um, with flights, these are actually based on Birmingham on the lead day. They are. They? they tend to charter the planes on there. So generally, the flights will be sort of Birmingham, Manchester, London. This one's based on Birmingham, but obviously, you've got a chance to, to speak to other people on there. Um, and again, as I said, this one is going to be flying you down. Now, I don't think we're going to be flying them down to Barbados on that one. That's a long way to go to on there. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll change that map over if we can. Yeah, I think that's coming up later. Is it? I mean, if you could do 645 to Barbados, we'll go for that. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. this... so, so a little, a little, little tease for later, that one, isn't it? Yeah. So this, one, this one's going to fly you down to Valletta. OK, we're going to go down into Malta. And again, the transfer from there is very short from the airport, of course, to the port itself. And then we're going to head over a day at sea, which is always nice to relax after your flight. And then we go into the wonderful uh, island of Sardinia. Now here, you've got the San Simplicio, which is the church area there. We've got the National Park. 
great beaches as you can see there as well. The weather throughout the year is always going to be great. The Mediterranean is the place to be in the summer and as I said, beautiful destination just to start your cruise. We then head down into one of my favourite parts of the Med, which is of course the Côte d'Azur, which of course is the south of France. Now, we're going to be tendering here. We tend to tender into Villa France because the port is nice and small. And again, from there, that opens up the gateway to go to Nice, Cannes, Monaco, Monte Carlo. Do you know what, though? Even if you don't do anything, just go and spend the day in Villa France. That's what I it did. It is beautiful. Yeah, I was there last year. We, yeah. we used to go for about mid-morning, go for some lunch, sit around, bit of people watching. It's down it's the court. It's not the cheapest place it? in the world, but you're in this part of the world. We used to sit there and have lunch and just take in the wonderful views. But as I said, if not, you can head away all along that coastline to some great, great destinations. But you're right, it's gorgeous there. It's lovely. Then we go into Livorno. Livorno itself is nice, but I would definitely get a bit further afield. You've got Luca and Siena, if you want to go and try some of the local Italian cuisines and wines. But of course, this is also the gateway then to go into uh, Florence and Pisa. Now, Florence is great, you've got the Ponte Vecchia Bridge, you've got the Duomo, you've got the history of Florence itself. So they do do a full day tour if you want to spend uh, the morning tour in uh, Florence with the guide and then the afternoon you've got free time and as I said the Ponte Vecchia is the most famous site there. They also do a combination tour with Pisa, so you can then go to Pisa as well. Um, and again, of course, famous. You've to got have to do, bit, if you're not big, you've got to. You've do got it. to do the picture. And again, it's great for the kids, great for the families to have the picture. So you can do a full day tour to Florence only. You could do Florence and Pisa, a combi day, or you can do Pisa only, depending on what you want to do. But very, very popular tours there, and a nice destination. Then we go down into Civitavecchia. We feature this a lot on our cruises. So again, people think you're going to dock right outside the Colosseum. You're not. You're docking Civitavecchia and you're about an hour and a half's ride. So you can take the train in if you're a little bit brave and you want to do it independently. A lot of people, though, do the coach trips in and you know it's secure there. You've got the coach to take you in. Rome on your own is a really, really popular tour, which I'd recommend. And that will drop you just one side of the Colosseum and then you can walk all the way across Rome past... Um, the Colosseum, you go past the Trevi Fountain, you go past the Pantheon, then over to the Vatican and that's where you'll meet the coach and it will bring you back. But as I said, loads of different tours. You need a week in Rome, you've got about seven hours, so you'll see as much as you possibly can. But it can. is great to get a taste of it. It's a feel, taste, and it? a lot of these ports are cooler than the same though, Sean. You go in there, you get a taste out, and then you go back for a long weekend yeah. uh, at a later stage. But Rome's one of the great cities of the world. Then another relaxing day at sea, which is nice to just chill out and relax, and then from there, you're going to get your flight back, back to uh, the UK. And as I said, look at that price there, starting from six, four, five. I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? For and that includes your flight though. and yeah, your transfers. That's flights, transfers, all of that fabulous food and entertainment. I think people think it's, um, cruising is going to be well out their budget, but that, that's great. And as I said, if you want to take the family in there, it's a really, really good price. And we should well. say, you know, everything boards in the British pound as well, isn't it? Everything's there? in the British sterling. As I said, people worried about gratuities and tipping, that's all included yeah. on these ships now. And again, they do do drinks packages. They're £39 a day if you want to do a drinks package. If not, the prices for drinks on board are what you pay in the pub at yeah. home so a lot of people just pay as they go uh, and you can see there the kind of accommodation You've got a big range of cabins from you know inside outside balcony um, and we have got so many great dates to choose from as well so the the lead date is based on the 30th April of this year so not too long to wait and um, the prices are based on select price and include free on board spend as well uh, the save the price is just five nine nine, but that doesn't include the onboard spend. I'd I would always go. say go for the selector yeah, if you better can, do, better deal, uh, isn't it? only because we can normally pick your cabin, you can pick your dining time, and you get sort of the onboard spend money. So sometimes the benefits. But speak to the guys in the office; they'll give you the best deals. Uh, and there's the prices. Um, so uh, the dates there, we've got uh, various dates from the 30th of April right the way through. Uh, this year through to summer, uh, into September, and we've even got a date uh, or two there for 2000. I really like that, that September date as well. I think that's a nice time. If you haven't got the kids, you know, everyone's gone back to school, weather's still good in that part of the world, so September's a nice time of year to go, but some really good prices on I'll that. I'll tell you one. what, even though like the July and August yeah, prices really, as well, really good. Really good. And again, if you've got the families, adults, and children, and you want to, you know, limited three and four berth cabins, they need to be booked as quick as possible. Uh, and don't forget, give us a call 0808 250 2662 is the phone number to call with Planet Cruise. Uh, but I'm planning my next cruise, as you do. <laughs> uh, it's my mum's 80th this year, so it needs to be special, it needs to be really nice. I think I found the right lady for the job. Because <laughs> Lou is back from Oceana. Hello. Hi, how are you? Really well, thank you. We, we always love having you on the show. Thank you but, so much. But we do love your cruises. We yes. do. 
Well, this I want you to come this year. You've I, got to bring Mum and you've got to come with us. My mum would love your cruises. She, she really would. would. And, and look, for anyone that's, I mean, every time you're on the show, you are, you know, we are always incredibly busy. But for anyone yep. that doesn't know your brand, just give us a little bit. Oh, so this is a luxury brand. Uh, tonight we're featuring a, a ship with just 1,250 guests on board. There's no kids clubs, there's no photographers. It's just that beautiful, relaxed ambiance. Our strap line is the finest cuisine at sea. And this is an all-inclusive cruise tonight. So <laughs> it's just it's just so relaxing. It's beautiful. A ship this size uh, would normally have about 12, um, yeah. two and a half thousand guests. You've got 1,200. And I, that's what I remember, yeah. so much yeah, space. space. No shoes, lots of space. And oh, in yeah, fact, it's let's, gorgeous. I think we should take you aboard. Oh, so this is the wonderful Riviera, and as I've said, 1,250 guests, 800 staff. It is just so beautifully appointed on board. It feels like a luxurious hotel. You're going to enjoy these wonderful state rooms that have a balcony and a beautiful bathtub and, and again, a really shower. Big as well, aren't they? Yeah. they are huge. They're yeah. just under 300 square feet. You can see some of the shots of the dining here. All of the dining is included. And these are the speciality restaurants, aren't yeah, they included? There's, there's no cover charge. You can have a table for two if you yeah. want. You can wear just casually elegant clothes. There's no formal nights. And it's just all these tiny attention to detail. It's so stunning, absolutely stunning. I think Red Ginger is probably the restaurant that always gets picked up as the, the one that I, everyone loves. I said my favourite restaurant ever. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely award-winning. <laughs> but the food, the food on this cruise line, I mean, we spend more money on food than most other cruise lines. Our strap line is the finest cuisine at sea, and you won't be disappointed. You can just even sit out on deck and have yep. grilled lobster tails, drink champagne. It's just heaven. Enjoy the spa. Would oh, you say your gorgeous. guests come back the biggest out of any cruise line with the food that you serve? Because <laughs> nothing <laughs> ever, you never have a snack on board. Do you know Ocean, I'd do say you? no because no, the food. A, no. a lot of it is so beautifully prepared and so healthy as well. And it is. And it there's is. food. You know, so many different options. There is. And it is, but it is. Yeah. Well, Come you on. would, because you you're, yeah, you, you would. I've never had a snack on Oceania. You never know. <laughs> it's fantastic. The food is the best. I think, as I said, we get feedback from a lot of our clientele that travel all the different ships, and they always say that they think Oceania is the best. Oh, well, yeah. we, I mean, we've won pretty much every food That's award going, and you're just seeing some of the images of the refurbishment as well. So well, I mean, I thought she was too young to be refurbished. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy, but she literally has had um, a beautiful uh, refurbishment last uh, year and you can just see the quality here um, all of the staterooms were upgraded all of the coffee bars you know and and it's all the little niggly things that are, are great you know the soft drinks included the speciality coffees the Wi-Fi is say, included. Got free Wi-Fi, look, look, there's your sweet, Sean. You've just had a nice image of the sweet you'll be in. <laughs> well, we have got we've got sweets available tonight. Actually. Is that the I owners? Know. Is he going in the owners' suite? <laughs> of course he is. Hey, mum, if you're watching, don't get too excited. I'm not going to promise you that. <laughs> but um, but the balcony is a really good price tonight. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. Well, we're actually it's saying though, for I think it's a couple of hundred pound extra on the, um, if you go the concierge to get all the little benefits of the concierge as well. Yeah, I would definitely go concierge with the free laundry, the access to the private at Spa Deck yeah. Terrace, that lovely bottle of champagne waiting for you yeah. when you get there. Why not? I'd only you put know? £100 more. But you are a different league and a different class. And, and you know, I, 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 I've been on many, many cruises and, and, you know, I think every cruise line has different things to offer. But if you're looking for ultimate luxury, but relaxation, Great food, as you say, outstanding yeah. food, and the most beautiful ships. This well, Hayley, one Hayley, of the presenters here, I yeah. sold her an Oceania cruise two or three years ago, and they did seven days around the Med. She said we never got off the ship. She didn't. Yeah. And, and she did a second cruise, and she got off once because she felt she had to. Yeah. That's how <laughs> good. You know, the ships. I think she said oh. she was sick of lobster, wasn't she? She couldn't eat any more lobster at the well, end she, of the I holiday. Think she managed it. She, she managed it, yeah. <laughs> a couple of towels on the last day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, that's how, how, how wonderful, you know, the whole experience was. Yeah. She, she didn't get off the ship. Oh, great. And I'm just so pleased that we've got an offer. You know, this is affordable luxury. We don't normally have this kind of price I point. So. I was going to say, Lou, when you do come on the show, when you only come, you know, yeah. a few times, yeah. you know, a year, but the offer is always outstanding. Isn't yeah, it? it has to be. And we do so well from this show. I mean, it's great to have those guests that have maybe cruised before yep. or haven't cruised before and are looking for something just that little and bit more special. And also I think special. it's sometimes for people that have cruised before but maybe they want to celebrate an anniversary or birthday oh, gosh, and they yeah. want to go maybe up a level and they 
you're worried about how much it's going to. When you've got something like this, it's yeah, affordable. It's you, you can definitely. And I would say, if you're, if you're worried about, say, so some of my friends that, that haven't cruised or you know, will say to me, "Oh, I'm worried about it being too busy, too many crowds, and things like that." You will never get no. that on your ship. Never, shit. never, never, because it just it feels like there's 700 guests on board. You're never going to have to worry about a lounge chair. No, you know, getting, getting on and getting off, off the, the ship. ship. Yeah. It's just a, it's just joyful. Yeah. And um, it's wonderful. So, you've got to do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and mum, if you're watching, this is, yeah. Th th yes, this, this is, is your holiday, yeah, mum. This is, this is our next cruise for your 80th. I think it'd be, be fabulous. Uh, but, we will get off. <laughs> yeah, at some point. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Can't promise we'll get off at every port, but Glenn, where are we visiting? Because the ports are lovely. Well, actually. you're going you're gonna to fly into Rome, and then obviously from there, you're going to go straight into the ports of call, and we're going to go from there into Livorno. Now, we've just spoken about Livorno. Again, as I said, you've got the gateway there into Florence and Pisa. Um, from there, we head along the coastline, and we go into uh, La Spezia is going to be the next port of call. And again, plenty of things to see here. You've got the pastel colour buildings, which are stunning. Ooh, and that again, that lovely. part of the world is beautiful. Again, the Italian Riviera, you know, you're getting off on a five-star deluxe ship and then going sitting in paradise and just sitting there taking the views. Look at the views, it's stunning. Even if you go off for a few hours and then just know that you're coming back to the ship is lovely, but you really do feel that you're in the millionaire's playground there. From there, we go into uh, just somewhere. There's a, most Ferraris anywhere in the world and one of the richest places in the world. You're going into Monte Carlo. It's everything you can imagine in Monte Carlo. Now, of course, you've got the harbour there. You've got the casino. Um, you've got the Cafe del Marte to just chill out there as well. The Cafe de Paris, sorry. And from there, you can just sit with a glass of champagne and just see wonderful, wonderful views of the rich and famous. And you do feel you are in the Milliers playground. It is a fascinating place. Oh, and of course, great, since you're yeah. Formula One and stuff like that, you're actually walking the track, you know, that that's, that's where it comes alive, of course, in May time, but that's Monte Carlo. We then go down into Antibes, and Antibes is beautiful as well, just along the coastline there, still with the rich and famous. And again, you've got some beautiful places to go. You've got fantastic beaches. You've got the Cap d'Antibes as well, which is wonderful. But look at the beach area there, down in the south of France, in that part of the world. What better place to be, knowing that you're going back to a beautiful ship in the afternoon. Then we go down into Marseille. We're heading along that coastline there. And again, for here, you've got various wine tasting tours. Of course, we've got the wineries there if you wanted to. But again, we were in Marseille a couple of years ago. We just wandered around the port area and took it easy. There are excursions to do. Of course, we have got excursions, I think, included in this on some We do. We yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you get four. And there's a great market there as there well, is isn't good. there? Really, really, really good. Really nice. And then from, there we go into Parma, one of my favourite destinations. We're going to dock into Parma itself. And again, loads of places to go and see over to Soyer, Val de Mosse, go down into Santa Ponza. You can go into Parma as well. You've got the Gothic style cathedral, you can see there. And as I said, you've got beaches. Wonderful place, one of my favourite places. I lived there for a number of years. And uh, as I said, a nice place to spend the afternoon. As I said, I always say, it, I got married about 50 yards along from that picture that got taken. And I was on that beach before. Were well, you? Yeah. I thought I was waving at you on my wedding day. Um, and then from now, we head back into Barcelona, and that's where we're going to finish our cruise. It's a lovely seven day cruise in one of the some of the highlights of the Mediterranean on a wonderful, wonderful cruise ship. Luke, can I just check, do you get all of those things free? The Wi Fi, yes. the drinks, the gratuities, the $400, and the four excursions? You get everything. everything. I know. I mean, it's literally, you'll have no bill to pay when you leave you the ship. And what is beautiful about this is that you can use the shipboard credit to upgrade the drinks package to the Prestige, and that would be unlimited alcoholic drinks. The champagne is included. Oh, my God, I see. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you've sold it to me. And the other, thing is, the other good thing about this is the speciality dining. There's no cover charge on any of the restaurants oh, no. that you go no, to. No, no Wi-Fi. Food, you could go for you know, a far less premium cruise line and end up spending far more than that with all the extras that you'd pay for. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'd spend more in coffee, you know. Uh, the coffees are included, the soft drinks, yep. speciality dining, Wi-Fi, everything's in. Uh, it's now, perfect. Now, two dates, the 9th of July or the 1st of September. Um, both would be fabulous, of course. But as we mentioned, the balcony is an outstanding price, but for a couple of hundred pounds more, you could go for concierge. Again, what are the benefits of concierge, Lou? Uh, free laundry, and you get private access to the spa deck terrace. And that's amazing. Oh, it's heaven. There's Thalawasa Therapy Whirlpools yeah. out there, and you just use your key card and out you go. It's, it's like a little slice of paradise out there. Um, 
Penthouse suites are incredible. I mean, we never have a penthouse at this price, so usually that would be about four and a half thousand yeah. per person. Yeah. So penthouse, and again, all the extras that you get with the butler. And, and both two night cruises. So, so the 9th of July is going to be a bit hotter yeah. on the, in, the, in the, the middle of the Mediterranean, so if you want to go there. But if not, 1st of September, as I said, most of European schools have got back. Not that you've got the kids on no. board, but again, it's a little bit quieter. Weather's yeah. a little bit cooler, but still the price is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, if it's a really special occasion, you might even look at the... Uh, the Oceana Suite there and the Vista Suite. Well, for your mum's 80th, I think that would Treat be a wonderful her, idea. <laughs> oh, don't you be watching that? Go, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm, I'm get, apparently I'm having a Vista Suite. Uh, we will see it's a special birthday, very right. But um, I will say the balcony cabins are really yeah, big. Why and not? Generous. I mean, you get a bath um, tub as I well. I need to say goodbye to Lou, though. Lou, oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so thank much you. for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Seriously. Fantastic again. Oh, and Glenn, <laughs> you're going to stay there, aren't you, sadly? I'll stick around. I was enjoying mate. that. I was having a chat with Lou there. I'm still learning my River Cruise stuff at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is now time for this week's All Inclusive. Our yes, two words. our two favourite words, all inclusive. And um, this week's all inclusive comes from Morella. Mar That's easy to say. You've not been on the all inclusive already, have you? <laughs> yeah. What's well, so this tune again? Uh, <laughs> anyway, yes, I'll try that one again. It is, of course, with Morella Cruises. Let's take you on board and talk you through. Uh, so. We, uh, we've both cruised with Morella many times. We have, we have, and this is the Morella Explorer. Uh, so, no, that's not the one, guys. No, that's one of the river that looks cruises. like a lovely river cruise that's coming yeah, up. Yeah, let's get the Morella one. Let's get the Morella one on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Glad we've not, we've not been on the booze. We're on farm, aren't we? We're yeah. all right, mate. We're fine today. No, we're fine. <laughs> no, we are live, by the way. Coming up to 22 <laughs> minutes past, uh, past eight. So, I'm out. We'll, we'll try that one again, right? Here we go. Are you ready for Seamless, this? Seamless, this is. So. It's this week's All Inclusive with Morella. Let's take a look. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is it. <laughs> so we so speed it up, yeah, this one. So this is Morella Explorer 2. So we'll show, we'll show as much as we can. I think the video might send you a bit do lally after a while, but you get to see as much of the ship as you possibly can. Now, Morella Explorer 2, they brought in Discovery and Discovery 2. They brought in Morella and then Morella Explorer 2. So this is the newest ship to the fleet. As I said, um, they've refurbished it. It's a fantastic ship. And we sell so many Morella cruises with all their ships at the moment. They're all inclusive, all your drinks, all your tips. Now, normally when you do sort of a transatlantic, you don't have the all inclusive. It's standard with Morella. And that's all your alcohol. And again, you've got your tips included on there. And look at the value for 17 nights, all inclusive for 13 I mean, it's, it's incredible value. And I also, you know, you know, I'm a big fan of Morella. I just think they offer outstanding value. And I'm not being funny, but to get 70 nights all inclusive, you know, my bar bill would be more than that. Exactly. And again, the nice thing, <laughs> the nice thing with Morella is it's a British cruise line as well. So we talked about it before. The, the, the entertainment, Morella's always had fantastic crew. That's the first thing that everyone says. They go back, you know, the staff have been there yeah. years. So they recognise people that go back time and time again. The other thing is their entertainment, their shows, normally West End type shows. They'll bring acts on board and people love it. So they're the two winners. And now they've bought these four new ships as well it's taking it to the next level yeah. and we sell unlimited amount of Morella and, and so I only discovered Morella a couple of years ago but you've I've done what three last three year three last year last yeah year on the various ships and stuff. and, and um, couldn't fault it so in terms no. of what you pay the value for money the service Do you know what as well we find and, the the people, fun, and they're comfortable ships you yeah. know you walk on and you just feel comfortable the flights are chartered so you fly straight in you've got your transfers there Back into yeah. Sam, and it's, it's a really very, good way of doing it. Because, as you say, it's all linked together. It's easy. It's very easy. And again, these tra these transatlantics, these one like these repositioning cruises, are always great value. And, and again, their chance to relax days at sea, hit the ports of call hard. You've got everything included on there. Yeah. What better I, value? I, I often say, when, when, I'm, when I'm retired, and I've got a long way to go yet, but this is the kind of deal that <laughs> no, I'm not semi-retired. What are they saying in the gallery? Yeah. Um, but. Um, it's the sort of cruise I would do because obviously, you know, you'd have the time. Yeah. It, you know, it's an, an amazing deal. Yeah. And to get away this time of year, you know, April. Yeah. Good value. Great value. Really, really anyway, good um, we're going to fly you to Barbados. And again, all the flights included um, with two in really great planes, actually. So well. they're going to fly you normally on one of the Dreamliners. And yeah, again, we base this on nice. Gatwick on Birmingham on there for us. 
So basically, we've got all that on there. And then from there, we are then going to go into Rosso in Dominica. Now, just to let you know, this is not Dominican Republic. This is Dominica. Very, very different. Um, when we were there a number of years ago, I was sitting in the Fort Young Hotel, which is just as you come off the pier area. And I was having a beer with Orlando Bloom, who was uh, just filming Pirates of the Caribbean. This is where... Well, actually having a beer with it? Yeah, he was sitting in there having a beer, him and the director. So we had a chat with him. But this is where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. Did you tell him you knew Sean Lyon, by uh, Well, we were doing parrot impressions and it all got a bit funny after that, so he left. But um, we were on Dominica. It's great because it's a rainforest island. So there's normally four roads. There's only two roads either way and you go up into the rainforest. Now, a couple of trips to do here. You go up to Emerald Ford and Trafalgar Falls. That's a great one to do. The other one is to do one called the Wacky Rollers, which is their jeeps. And they take you up into the rainforest. You get to swim in the pools up there, but this really takes you down into the rainforest. If you want to do that, very different to some of the other Caribbean islands, a wonderful place to visit. Then different from there, we then go into Tortola, which is the British Virgin Islands, a little bit more commercial. Uh, commercial, And again, with this one, great for some of the water sports on there. So if you're into your snorkeling, you've got Treasure Point snorkeling, I'd recommend a trip over to Virgin Gorda. That's a wonderful place to go and see. You can take the open-sided uh, buses. That will take you down to Cane Garden Bay. And also you've got the Dolphin Discovery if you want to swim with the dolphins. But oh. a lot to see there. Um, and you've also got a place called Pussers, P-U-S-S-E-R, Pussers uh, Bar. And that's famous for the Pussers Rum. If you've been to the Caribbean, I'm sure there's people at home nodding. A couple of them you'll have an early night. <laughs> Moving on from there, we've got a couple of days at sea, and then we go into a wonderful Bermuda. Now, these, a lot of the cruises that go to the Caribbean, you may not have gone to Bermuda before, but again, home of the rich and famous, this is one of the most affluent places I in the Caribbean. I don't know why, but I've always wanted to go. Yeah, and with this one's quite nice, because you've actually got the overnight in there as well. So we're going into the Royal Navy Dockyard, and you've got a chance there to hit some of the beaches. You can go to some, some of the restaurants. Now, an overnight on board means that the gangway's down. I would hit the, one of the bars and restaurants, stay out for the evening. You've got 17 nights on this cruise, so have an overnight off the ship. But you can go to the cage, you go to the beaches, lots of stuff to do. Because from there, you've then got five days at sea. Now, again, you can relax, take it easy. You know the weather's still going to be good. You've got all-inclusive drinks and, and yeah, tips and, and just if you take it easy. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to be bored. Do you know, imagine, yeah, a hotel, you just sat around the pool yeah. every day. Yeah. On a Marilla cruise, you've got constant entertainment throughout the day. You've got a choice of venues. You've got lots of different places to eat, yeah. to drink. And it is all-inclusive. Yeah, and all. I, you know, I've got kids myself. But remember, this is adults only. So you're not going to have the kids jumping in the pool. No. You can just relax and take You'll it easy. You'll have the big kids like Glenn and I. Yeah, yeah, bombing you. No problem at all. <laughs> and then we go down into Ponte del Garden. Now, I actually had a guy phone me who was on a cruise ship yesterday. He said, we're just sitting in the in the um, port area of Ponta del Garda. It's a great place, this. We normally stop at Madeira or the Azores on the way over. Um, and again, here, I would recommend doing a tour during the morning, getting out and about and seeing the island, and then coming back into the town area, just relaxing, taking it easy, have a couple of drinks, and then just wander back to the ship. Because then you've got another couple of days at sea before we then get over into France. And first of all, we go into Brest. And here you've got the Oceanopolis, which is the large aquarium. You've also got a number of the museums and you've got the botanical gardens. And again, you're heading back into Europe. You've been in the Caribbean. It's nice to come back home uh, and have a look around but it. It's uh, a nice place just to wander around for the day. And but just, take just it, easy. it will be kind of like early mid-May. Early May, so the yeah. weather's going to be good as well. Yeah. And then from there, finally back into Cherbourg. Again, just a, a destination, a drop-off before we head back into the UK. And again, from here, great with its naval history. Um, and again, I mean, I've just been watching um, Dunkirk, the, the movie on there. And of course, all that part of the world is, you know, synonymous with naval history. Really, really interesting. Some beautiful places to go and visit if you want to do the tour and the chateaus. If not, just relax. I would recommend, though, popping into the Maritime Museum. It's quite interesting. And then from there, back into Southampton, there is an add-on here that we can actually go back into Newcastle if you wanted to, an extra uh, day at sea or a couple of days at sea. But if not, this will drop off in Southampton. A wonderful chance. And look at the price on that one. Um, amazing. Um, so, so Marella, they, they really are good. You know, I think they, they know their market. They, Try them. They, they, yeah. I'd say it took me ages to try them, and now I really love them. Yeah. Um, so, oh, the Indigo Club, yeah, I remember dancing there. <laughs> uh, hopefully nobody videoed me. But anyway, it's uh, adult-only, all-inclusive <coughs> cruise, and that does include, obviously, tips as well. Now, this is a, a flash sale, so you're saving £200 on this foliage, and we've uh, included that discount in the price on the screen. Uh, outbound flights, we've actually got a choice of Gatwick or Birmingham, um, 
Any regional ones as well? Or? No, it's probably going to be that because it's chartered on there. So it'll be Gatwick or Birmingham on there. So it's good, still finance yeah, really included. Good. And so you've got your transfers to the pool. And as, as Glenn mentioned, we have got a 20 night selling from Barbados to Newcastle. And that's available at just 1545. That uh, gives you a few extra days. As yeah, well. exactly. And as I said, we've got uh, balconies, inside cabins, whatever you want on there. But as I said, give the guys a call. That's about 80 quid a day. That's roughly working out. It's not bad value. Wow. So um, that will sell really quickly tonight. So if you want to, give us a call. 080. 2-5-0-2-6-6-2. Ah, I do love this show, you know. It's good, isn't it? Really good. But it's also time for this week's Luxury Corner. And now this is not Cruise with Seaborn. No. Uh, I'll be honest, I sometimes look and think they're a bit out of our price range, but this offer tonight is really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, again, um, following on from Oceania, Seaborn's in the same category. Yeah. It's sort of five-star deluxe cruising um, this is the yachtsman's riviera from barcelona with a stay there as well it's eight nights and this is on the seaborne ovation again we've got return business class flights on this and transfers ultra luxury it's all inclusive your drinks your tips everything's included on there and you've got your one night stay in barcelona uh, i have to say everyone that i've spoken <coughs> to that has cruised with seaborne has said outstanding yeah, and I think, as I said, it is a different level. I say cruise cruise ships cater for all budgets yeah. and all types. And again, for example, if I had the family, Seabourn is probably not for me. But if you're a couple, again, you've maybe retired, you want to treat yourself. And this is ultimate luxury. As I said, you can see the ships on there. They're beautifully presented. They're exquisite. They're relaxing. Um, food, uh, the drinks, everything on board is included. And it's exceptional quality. quality. I'm feeling really hungry looking at this. Yeah, I am as well, yeah. yeah. I've just had a sandwich from Sainsbury's. It's not doing much for me when I'm looking at this. But it is great, as I said. And it I'm is, sure it was very nice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It was, and there are other supermarkets we can talk about. But again, as I said, if you look at the entertainment on board, you look at the actual quality of the ship, yeah. it's wonderful. As I said, you are paying more for this, but look at the quality you're getting. And presumably a lot of small ships. Well, the, the ships aren't that much smaller, but obviously the amount of people on board yeah. is, of course, much more limited compared to some of the other so cruise lines. So space. again, no queuing when you get back on. You've got that personal touch when you get on back on board the ship. And, and, and as I say, the crew get to know you very, very quickly. And we have got a very special prize tonight. It's a veranda suite starting at just 2199, and that includes return business class flights and transfers, uh, all inclusive and a one night stay in Barcelona. And that's on the 8th of May, eight nights on the Seabon Ovation. She is stunning. Uh, but cruises are for everybody, and I really mean that whether you're, you know, you've got a big family, whether it's just you and your partner. And they're also fabulous if you're traveling by yourself. And it's time for this week's single and solo special. Yes, I, I was single for many years. Nobody would have me for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, a lot of my friends that are single, and, and also when I was single, I you sometimes worry about going on holiday by yourself. And, yeah. and, you know, and a cruise is brilliant, isn't it? They are. Um, but also the river cruises that we're talking about now are even better because obviously there's a lot less people on there. Yeah. It becomes more of a community it's on a board. Whereas, to... you know, some of the bigger ships, you've got 6,000 people on it, you sort of can become lost. A river cruise is fantastic. Yeah. So um, you can sit back, get chatting to people. And because this is, is Saga as well, it's over 50. So one of us in this team is allowed to go on this. Yeah, that's me, by the way, yes. But, but you could if take you me. behave nicely, you could be my companion. Yeah, because yeah. anyone uh, 40 and above can travel yeah. with someone over the age of 50, <laughs> can't we? So we could go together. He always, whenever, he always rips me about my age. Oh, I'll always have that four or um, five years. But, you, you know, the Saga, are, they are a fantastic uh, company, great brand. Um, it, you know, and 50 now is not old. Is no, 100 percent no. But as I said, Saga is a, a slightly different product product. Obviously, it's been geared to the slightly older clientele anyway. But River Cruising suits that age group now. Again, with this one, look at the price on there. It's 11 nights, which so some of you that see our river cruises, they're generally quite a little bit more expensive than the ocean cruising, but this is wonderful. Um, and this one's got so much included. And again, the good thing with Saga as well, I mean, I've been on their ocean cruise, I've actually been on their ships and and and, and dined on there. The food is exceptional, really, really good. 
good. Um, and as I said, you've got so much included on this as well, which is, as you can see there in the video. But they do look after you. And as I said, people go back with Saga time again. The other good thing with this one is also they have insurance as well. If you're always struggling yes. to get that insurance, if you're a little bit older, you've had a few ailments, sometimes insurance can be a bit of a bugbear. They also have the insurance package on there as well. And you've good. noticed um, for couples, uh, the Riverview price starts at 1425 per person, but the single, sometimes the single price is double that, yeah. but it's not, it starts at just 1675. Now again, there'll only be a certain amount of cabins available yeah. on there. Um, so again, once they go, then it will go like to almost like a double supplement on there for you. So what I would advise, if you're looking at this one, you want to get the singles booked as quick as possible. But again, we've got dates going from April, um, June, August and September. So a lovely time of year to go. And again, a lot of the river cruises we have are seven days. This is 11 days. So you can really immerse yourself. And we've got nearly overnights every single night. So where the ships dock, they dock right in the centre of town. You can then wander off for the, the evening, go out. As I said, you can have your dinner on board and just go wandering around. But again, as we go through these ports of call, um, we're trying to give you as much information as we can. But again, it's a much more port intensive for you to go and see as much as you can. And as I said, you've got constant moving scenery the whole time on these river cruises. Uh, you know, I used to think of river cruises as quite like old little ships and things like that, but now yeah. they're ultra luxury aren't they they're beautiful yeah, yeah beautiful and as i and said you, ships are, you know, they are great and they, they're all the same age group on board as i said it, it becomes a community whilst you're on board and it's a lovely opportunity to try this and i think this value for money on here is fantastic and just to give you a little idea of how beautiful she i mean look this way i mean yeah wow yeah Really, really and, nice. And how many passengers approximately? Yeah, a couple of hundred on this one, so it's not yeah. one of the big ones on there anyway. But as I said, uh, they dock right in the centre of the uh, the cities, so again, uh, they're easy to get into the centre of town on there for you. Again, you've got a couple of excursions included on this as well. Um, I get optional excursions that you can add on. But as I said, look at the size of the ship there, comparing it to some of the ocean cruises. And what we get a lot of people is that they've been on multiple, multiple ocean cruises. They've sort of got to the level and go, no, we want to try something different and they'll have uh, a go on the river cruise. And, um, and I will tell you now, most of the places we're going to talk about, first of all, I can't pronounce, so that's the first <laughs> thing. And second of all, I bet most people haven't been there before. Even though it's in Europe, most of the places you're going to go to are going to be new destinations for you. Um, and I should say as well, there's a free bar, isn't they? Open 12 till 12, 12 hours a day. Exactly, it's good, I thought there was, yeah. yeah a, there is, I, I noticed that, I was reading my notes, and that's stood out for me, there's a free bar. But exactly. also, lots of other things, you know, uh, you know over the cruise, you've got, got your 32 meals, which includes 11 breakfast, lunches, yeah. dinners. But anyway, some great places, Glenn, so over and to you. And complimentary Wi-Fi on board, which is yes. always good. So this one, we're going to start in Koblenz, and from here, we're going to go down into the Roman, uh, Roman city of Koblenz. Uh, and again, we also have optional tours of the cities if you wanted to go then. And then from there, we're going to cruise along to Winnegen. I hope I've said that uh, right. And that's where you're going to be more in overnight. And as I said, all of these, you can then go off in the evening. But look at the scenery as you go along the river there. You're going to have that constantly through the whole of this particular cruise. From Winnegen, we're then going to go to Cochem and to Zell. So uh, in Cochem, again, you've got wonderful vineyards there, which you can see there in the pictures. And of course, beautiful, attractive villages. Uh, and of course, castles throughout the whole of this experience which is wonderful so hopefully you've got a lot of memory on your cameras on there for you a lot of neo-gothic uh, castles and beautiful uh, experiences you travel along from there we also go down into Zell you've got the beautiful chance there to try some of the um, wines that are produced in this area and again you've got of course a chance to try those as well we then go down into Bern Castell and on to Kuz. And again, from here, you've got some of the small, pretty towns there of Germany. And again, all the way along, as you go along both of these destinations, you've got the vineyards that are there as well. From uh, Kust, also we go into Trier. And again, they're trying to keep up with us on the map here. But again, this is founded uh, back in 16 BC by the Empress Augustus and is one of the oldest cities in Germany. Um, and again, of course, you've got a chance there to go and experience them. And they've got the, the, uh, some of the best preserved Roman gates anywhere in the world. Then we go on to Traburn and Trabac. And from here, again, more wine tastings. If you love your wines, you're going to be in your element here. And again, as you cruise along the Marcel, you've got the wine villages as well. And of course, the guides on board will be bringing that to life for you. From Trackback onto Bopard. And again, this boasts almost 2,000 years of history. And as I said, a great chance there to go and explore some of these wonderful uh, Gothic style buildings that they have there. And again, of course, your guides will be with you to take you around. 
From Bowes Pearl, we go on to Rudersheim. And again, this is a charming, beautiful uh, village. Uh, half timbered buildings on there. Again, more wine taverns. You see the, um, the way it's going here with the wines on this no, particular I, I, one? I, I have um, and of course, you get a chance to try that. And there's an alternative uh, wine tasting tour on this particular one. So it just looks very picturesque, really beautiful, calm. and relaxing. Yeah. And then from Rudersheim, we're going to Mainz, to Andernach, and from here again, more Romanesque red sandstone uh, cathedrals in this part of the world. And again, a chance to wander around the old town with the medieval buildings that they have there. Uh, from there we go to Koningswinter and to Bonn, and of course Bonn is one of Germany's oldest cities, um, and of course it was the provisional capital between 1949 and 1990, and again you get a chance to go on one of the tours here or go and explore independently, but you know throughout the thing you're going to be seeing these wonderful castles, as I said, I would reckon most of the people watching this have never been to this part of the world before, so it's a great opportunity to do that. From there you go from Bonn to Cologne, and again from there you're going to arrive in Cologne in mid-morning, and again this is one of the uh, most famous towns in Germany on this one. You've got the Gothic style cathedrals and you've got wonderful churches and spires to go and see. But as I said, look at the itinerary that you oh. have on there. It's a wonderful chance to go and see this part of the world. And I say, I haven't been to this part of the world before and I'd really like to go and see this. Well, uh, Saga do include so much as well. You also get free VIP door to door travel service plus uh, optional travel insurance included as well. That makes it really nice. Really good. It? Yeah. Uh, overnight and board in most ports as well. Uh, also, in that included tour, of course, of the ancient Roman city. Uh, and the price is based on coach travel, but we've also got flights as well, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, so give the guys a call and there's a supplement for flights if you don't want to do the coach travel. Um, and again, the other good thing as well is that single supplement, yeah. 1675. But as I said, once that goes, you'll end up almost paying like 100% supplement. So get booked in as quick as you can. Uh, so just to show you, we've got um, four dates. So. 27th of April, 28th of June, 15th of August, the 18th of September. And we've got the passenger deck, the main deck, the promenade deck. But for all of our single ladies and gents, look at those single prices. They will go very quickly. They will go. And it, There's know, only 20... a few of each, isn't there? Exactly, they? yeah. They always do on these river cruises, so get booking as quick as you can. The guys are there till 10 o'clock tonight. But that is, that's really good. So they they are exceptional. Sometimes you pay double the normal Yeah, passenger exactly. Rates. That's what I'm saying. Once they go, you'll be paying a lot more. Yeah. But. We've still got uh, a couple of cruises to share with you. And it's now time for this week's Hotspot. Wow. This is, now, this is a... It's we, a we, we, we presented the show. I mean, I've, I've, I've presented it 12 years. You've been with us for the past several, haven't you, Glenn? Yep. This item we've never done before, have no, we? No, no. And, and I'm going to give you a quick question at the start. Go on. This one's got a train. What colour's the train? Um... It says on the screen. Yes, it is. It's a blue. Blue. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So it's not difficult, this quiz. So well, what, well, you did, I, was what I would say to you is this is something we've never featured before. I don't think we've ever featured before. Now, we feature Fred Olsen quite a lot. We sell a lot of Fred Olsen cruises. And they're wonderful because they do do different destinations that you probably, a lot of you haven't been to before. But this one is with the 19 night stay here. And we've got the blue train and the wildlife tour of Africa. So we're watching the video at the moment. So this is from the cruise. Now, this was actually filmed by the team from the cruise. Itself. So this was on the last time they did this itinerary. So you get a great chance to see the ship. You get a great chance to see, obviously, what you're going to be seeing. Now, of course, now Cape Town's one of my favourite destinations. We were actually going to have our honeymoon in Cape Town, um, but it's a fantastic destination to go and see. Not just for the safari, but the V&A. That's the V&A there. I love the Victoria and Albert waterfront. Yeah, it's, it's one of the here. best places I've been to in the world. And the good thing at the moment, the Rand is so good out there that the exchange rate is so good. It's great. That's Table Mountain. Yeah, and again, climbed up there. You've got the, the, the old parts of Table Mountain. If not, go and see the guys at Love Island because they're filming in South Africa just along from there at the moment at Hope Space. You can go and see that. But the main thing is, is go and see the Big Five. Everyone's going to think we're on Love Island. I know, there. tell me about it, mate. I'll, I'll be watching Love Island. There's a big game five on them, some of them. I'll tell you what. But look at it, mate. You've got the lions, the zebras, you've got the hippos, giraffes to go and see. But, um, um, but not just this as well. You're also going down into um, the Seychelles. You're going to Madagascar. Again, places that many of you haven't been to before, and this is a bucket list place it, to go and see. It really is a, an itinerary of a lifetime, and uh, so we'll talk to them in a bit more detail, but 
the um, the fifty night cruise will be with Fred Olson. Yeah. It's our cruise, and they're, they're a wonderful company. Again, they are good. Smaller ships, really friendly, but they really look after their customers. They are, and they? as I said, you know, with this one here, you get a chance to go up into Durban, which I've been to a number of times to see the Swakopmund up to see the Zulus. Um, but again, you've got the beaches of the Seychelles, you've got Madagascar with the animals, you've got the Cape Town and South Africa with the big game five, um, and of course the other thing as well, we've got the blue train, which we'll talk about in a second. Wow, That's Table you? Mountain. Do you know yeah. what? I went Table Mountain, I took Hells up Table Mountain and we went to it and I thought, oh, it's going to be another standing on top of a thing. We've done the fields for years and I thought it's just going to be another. Do you know what? It was one of the best experience Table Mountain. You've got to time it right without the cloud cover coming uh, down. Yeah. But I tell you what, it was fantastic to go and see yeah, that and we I got agree. some brilliant, brilliant photos. But the main thing we're doing this one, we're going to fly into Pretoria to start with, which again is a destination that we, we don't normally fly into. And from this one, um, you're going to fly over our indirect flight into Pretoria and from there we're going to join the Blue Train. Now the Blue train we feature a few trains within our packages that we have but I don't think we featured no. the blue train before and there, and there it, is. it is it's blue now on this one this is gonna be a 27 hour journey you've got accommodation on board the the train itself uh, private bathrooms you've got your rooms on there but again this is an experience to see Africa from the window they say it's the window to the soul of South Africa so again you get your meals included on there you get your drinks you've got a bar on there to stand there and this is a great opportunity and this is the start of your experience and I say from there you're going to be then going down into Cape Town now we've got a one night stay in Cape Town which again V&A go and see as much as you can there maybe get to Table Mountain go to Robin Island but again that is a wonderful chance to go and see and that's one of my highlights Table Mountain for there, we're going to join the ship, and that's where we're then going to have a day at sea, and then we're going down into Port Elizabeth. Now, again, quite a lot to see in Port Elizabeth, but the one thing I would recommend is maybe doing a chance of one of the safari experiences. You might get the chance to do it here, and again, you've got the Kiranga Game Reserve. Here, you've got 54 hectares of the park area to go and see the Big Five, and that's what you want to see. If not, spend time in uh, Port Elizabeth. I think you've been to Port uh -huh. Elizabeth, haven't you? But again, Wonderful I would place, recommend actually. trying to get out to see the Big Game and do the, the safari. We're then going to one of my favourite destinations, which is Durban. Now, Durban, you've got the Corniche and the walkway there, so you can go out there all the way along there. You can walk, and as I say, it's a very, very popular destination to go and see. But I would recommend going up into the Valley of the Thousand Hills, and that's where you're going to see the Zulu drums, and that's where you're going to go up into Swakamon. Now, again, I used to take the crew there. I used to do an excursion here to go and see the Zulu warriors. They do a full dance for you. They talk in their funny language. Uh, and again, this is the Zulu warriors here, and that's going to be your best chance to do that in Durban. We then move down to Mayuti, uh, Mayuti over there, um, and here we're going to be the start of the archipelago, which is stunning before we get over into Madagascar. And again, this is a channel in the Western Indian Ocean. It's about 190 miles uh, northwest of Madagascar, and again, you've got the beautiful islands there, a nature paradise, and you've got plenty of chance to do some swimming with the tropical fish, the turtles, dolphin, whales, and of course, great if you're into your swimming and your snorkeling on there. From there we go into Helville. Now it's not sounding that bad, please, because we're into Madagascar <laughs> now. Now again, this is a place that many of you have probably wanted to go to. And again, if you're into your wildlife and your nature, you've got the chance to do this. Again, great architecture to go and see. I would definitely recommend taking one of the tours here to bring it to life. But you've got the chance to spend some time in this port of call. And then from then we go down into Diego Suarez, still in Madagascar, a little bit further along to the North Island there. And then again here you've got more chance to see some of the French colonial buildings. You could do swimming and snorkeling, whatever takes your fancy. And of course, a chance to see more wildlife. And then from there we go down into Victoria and we're down into Mayher, down into the Seychelles. Now again, paradise. Some of you may have honeymoon there before, but this is beautiful. And the good thing with this place is you're going to have an overnight. So you're going to have um, sort of two days there to go and explore. Again, crystal clear waters. This is where you see a lot of the adverts, the Paradise Islands, and it's I mean, not a bad place to finish a cruise. Glenn, what an incredible itinerary. Yeah, is, it's it? phenomenal. And look at the price. As I said, you've got the train, you've got Cape Town, you've got these ports of call, you've got the Seychelles, and you've got a wonderful cruise on there. It's a fantastic opportunity, something we've never featured before. And again, it's going on the 29th of November, so it's deposit only tonight. And you will be on board the Boudicca with Fred Olsen. So I cruised with Fred Olsen uh, a little while ago with my mum. We, we did have a lovely time, we really did. Really good. And really impressed with the standards of the food service entertainment, but very much a, a cosy, friendly feel with yeah, Fred Olsen. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so you will get the two-night blue train uh, from Pretoria to Cape Town. That is included, of course. You'll also get a hotel stay 
in Cape Town as well. Cape Town is a wonderful place, it really is. Uh, and then over and out on board uh, in Cape Town and Seychelles as well, and return flights based on London. Wow. Not bad, is it? Really nice, that one. So, wonderful. I it. love bringing different things to the show as well. You know, so yeah. that training is very different. Not as where I see parts of South Africa. But we, uh, we've got a couple uh, more cruises to uh, tease you with and tempt you with. And this is our river spotlight, uh, just coming from Emerald Waterways. And it's the flavours of Burgundy in Provence. It's a seven-nighter on board the Emerald Liberté. And you've got a price of under £1,900. And this is uh, the 11th of July. Uh, it's... And we've got exclusive deals, so it's an exclusive, all-inclusive drinks, and they're worth 25 euros a day, and all 2020 sailings, saving £950. And also, we're going to include excursions and um, Wi-Fi, of course, as well. So that will all be included in that one. But we've got uh, one final cruise for you with Royal Caribbean, who introduced me to cruising 11 years ago. Yep, never turned back, have you? Hooked me in, and I, yeah, <laughs> I've done 30 cruises since then. And I still love Royal Caribbean. And you know, everyone's booking Anthem of the Season at the moment, Yeah, I, 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 I talked about that. Like, it's my favourite ship, I'll be honest with you. You know, you shouldn't have favourites, but I have. It's the first time... First time I ever went on a Royal Caribbean ship was with Anthem of the Seas. I've been on many ships, and this was one that blew me away, mainly for the facilities on board, as I said, especially if you've got the family and kids, this is great. But again, huge ships, much different to, you know, some of the other ships we've featured today. Um, uh, nearly 170,000 tonnes, 1,500 crew. This is a beast. But again, it's got so many facilities on board. They're the ones that brought in the virtual balconies, which are fantastic, which you can see there. They're slightly different. They're an inside cabin with the virtual uh, screens on there. You've got some beautiful suites right, on there so as well. But it's, for everyone, they? it's mainly the, uh, the activity. So the C-Plex is not only the roller disco, but you've got the kids' school in there, and you've got the dodgems. You've also got the floating DJ booth, loads of different restaurants. That's North Star. So North Star goes right up off the ship and actually leans off the side. It's as high as Big Ben, and you get some great views in there. You've got the Flow Rider. Again, if you fancy... Uh, giving yourself a go at the surf and I think I, you've tried that haven't you yeah I was absolutely rubbish yeah, there was a big yeah. crowd watching me I was at now this but is a good one really if, you've, good if you've had a heavy night get in one of these I tell you, it clears the old cobwebs away I tell you on the old uh, uh, rip cord on there which is good you've got Gigi which is a giraffe they always put an animal on board their ships um, and again on there as well they've got the uh, uh, loads of pools loads of facilities to keep you occupied as well I mean, this. I mean, you look at this. So much fun. It's got so much. You've got the retractable roof on there, which is great, depending on the weather conditions. Dining is second to none. Again, I love Chops Grill. You've got a Zoomy. You've got uh, Wonderland, and then finally at the back, you've also got 270, which is their wonderful moving. And you can see, look, 270 viewing at the back there. Look at the back of this venue. Look at the theatre. You're going to see it now. That all comes to life. Wow. Yeah. And also, you know, for for. Families and extended families and everyone. And then you want to go and get a drink, you go to a robotic bartender. Yeah. So where are we going to? It's a nice, it's a nice, uh, nice little hotel. Yeah. yeah. Look so at the price. The virtual balcony is eight two nine per person. Really, really good. But we're going to start off in Southampton, so you can so stay no on holiday flying. in Winchester the night before if you wanted to. And then we got uh, a couple, uh, got a day at sea, and then we're going down to Lisbon, a great destination. Imagine sailing in on Anthem of the Seas by the April of the twenty fifth bridge. Bellum Tower, you've got the Geronimus Monastery, you can go and try the yellow trams, go into the uh, um, glass elevator, chill out in the main square there, lots of stuff to see. But the good thing with this one, you've got an overnight on board. Great, but I still reckon you'll be back to the ship because there's so much going on. You've also then got Vigo. Vigo's a great destination as we head back up into Spain. And again, with Vigo, you've got nice destinations if you want to go a bit further afield, but we used to like the town area. Good bars and restaurants, tapas bars. Maybe a trip to Santiago de Compostela, which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site, but a nice, chilled-out place to go and visit. Then into La Coruna. Again, if you don't do Santiago de Compostela from Vigo, you can do it from La Coruna, the home of the gentleman that uh, founded Zara and Pull and Bear. Uh, so good shop in there if you wanted to. But again, a nice opportunity to try some tapas, glass of wine and take in the views. And then from there down into Bilbao, uh, again, famous for the Guggenheim Museum, you've got the flower dog statue. Um, and again, very arty um, architecture. That's the flower dog that you can have your picture taken. But it's nice, good opportunity to have that. But again, the main selling point of this is the cruise ship itself. Um, a day at sea and then back into Southampton. And, and I just want to see Anthem for, for one final time, Anthem of the Seas, because 
honestly, you will never, ever be bored. There is so much to do, so much fun, so much excitement. Um, you know, you'll always find a chill out area as well. Of course, yeah, you will. of course you will. But this is this is full on. As I said, it's got so much going on. And as I said, it's uh, the one ship that I went wow. Yeah, your favourite ship. My favourite ship. Are you good at roller skating? No, I, I did ice skating on Sunday for the first time since oh. I was 17. Yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't good. No, no. Won't try that again. Well, in terms of what's included in this one, I mean, the, all of the, I should say, um, open out and board in Lisbon. You can secure your place like from just. £150 per person deposit, but all of those exciting things like the North Star, the Ripcord, the Flow Rider, the roller skating, the bump cars, they're all available at no extra cost, don't forget, all included. You can watch the uh, award-winning Western musical We Will Rock You for free That's as well. nearly a two-hour performance. That's it's the whole thing, isn't that's it? That's the whole thing, yeah. Uh, and also, as Glenn mentioned, um, you can add on a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester for only £99 per person. That will give you breakfast, parking and port transfers as well. And the lead date there, the 20th of June. Uh, we've also got a May date for that one as well, the 15th of May. Uh, but, as ever, we're out of time. We've just got a few minutes to do a quick recap. This will be fast. Get your teeth in there, <laughs> yeah, get your teeth in. So we started with this brilliant... Uh, cruise with, of course, P&O uh, on board Oceana. It's a seven-night Italy, France, and uh, Sardinia from Malta, and you've got a price at six four five. And with flights based on Birmingham for the lead date, but we've got regional flights available as well. Just a pound per person deposit. Uh, then we moved on to Lose Deal Wits, which is Oceania. Just make sure you get the difference between the two. Now, this one's got so much included. You've got drinks, $400 on board, spend excursions included, free Wi Fi and tips. No cover charge on speciality dining, so literally everything's included. The itinerary does work in reverse on the 9th of July. Return flights for London. Then we had our Morella. Oh, this is amazing, seriously. It's an amazing, I said that twice now, but it is amazing, three times. 79, all inclusive. Atlantic voice from Barbados to Southampton, everything's included and it's adults only. And uh, outbound flights are based on London Gatwick or Birmingham. Then we went on to the Saga River Cruise. Again, this is 11 nights around the wineries of Germany on the Moselle. And again, it's a lead date on the 29th of April 2020. And remember that single price is a 1675 210855. Then we had an outstanding itinerary with Fred Olsen on board Boudicca. And this is the 19-night Blue Train and Wildlife of Africa from Cape Town there. You've got two nights on board the Blue Train, you've got the uh, night in Cape Town, and this incredible cruise. And then for finally, we finished on Anthem of the Seas. This is a great one if you, pardon the pun, want to dip your toe in the water and try cruising. Everything included in that. If you've got the families with you, even better. You've got the We Will Rock You musical, and again, we've got the virtual balconies from 829. The lead date on that is the 20th of June 2020. And don't forget, you can check out all the deals and many thousands more. Oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Oh, look at that. Look. That's been airbrushed. Look at that. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the Planet Cruise website as well. But next week, we've got a very special show for those of you that are new to cruise. On Tuesday, the 11th of February, live at 8pm, the Planet Cruise TV show is bringing you a one-hour show dedicated to first-time cruisers. If you haven't dipped your toe into the water yet, then tune in as we will feature exclusive deals and expert advice to help you plan your cruise holiday. And even if you are a regular cruiser, you are very welcome to watch for the best deals around. So, yes, do join us next Definitely. Tuesday as ever at 8 o'clock. Um, we are really busy as ever, so thank you to everyone that's calling. We're open tonight, so what time, Yeah, Glenn? so the guys are there till 10 o'clock tonight. They're back open at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll be back at my desk at 9 if anyone wants to have a chat with me. But as I said, more than happy to help you. Glenn, thank you so pleasure, much. Pleasure, mate. Always a pleasure. We will see you in about two weeks' two time. Two weeks' time. Two weeks' time. But I will be with you next Tuesday Cheers, as guys. ever with Planet Cruise. Take care and see you soon, Glenn. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.